Game two of the World Series started exactly how Dodgers fans could have hoped, with Vin Scully throwing out the first pitch. But unfortunately for the city of Los Angeles, it didn't end the way they would have liked as the Astros won their first World Series game ever. Welcome into the Denver Post newsroom. I'm Alexis Perry with your Denver Post Sports Minute. Wow. What a game. It took two extra innings for Houston to make franchise history, but four hours and 19 minutes later, the Astros got to head home with a ton of confidence and the series split with one win apiece. When it comes to who I'm rooting for, well, I'm neutral, but I am a fan of Dingers and the Dodgers and Astros put on a home run derby at Dodger Stadium with eight between the two clubs. I won't lie to you, I thought it was over in the top of the 10th when Josh Fields gave up the first back-to-back -back homers in a World Series ever. But in the bottom of the inning, Yasiel Puig cut Houston's lead to one with a home run off Ken Giles, who then struck out the next two before walking Logan Forsythe. Forsythe would eventually dive across home plate thanks to an Enrique Hernandez single, which tied it up again. Subsequently, Forcing more free baseball. Cameron Maven singled off McCarthy and stole second before George Springer hit a two run bomb just over the center field wall to make it 7 5. Dodger Charlie Culberson got to celebrate a solo shot in the bottom of the 11th, but Chris Davinsky earned the save and the historic win for Houston. 7 6 the final score, and the excitement continues at Minute Maid Park this Friday night at 6 09 local time. I have a feeling this series is going to be one for the record books. For more from the Denver Post, newsroom, follow me on Twitter at Alexis Ray Perry.